I am writing my history because they say that history is written by winners, and I still intend to win. <laughs> All right. <laughs> this book is coming out just 50 years after I had my main ideas in the computer field. The anniversary is an accident. I've tried to tell the story before, but it's taken until now to clarify and package it reasonably. Everybody wants to tell their story. I have special reasons. I have a unique place in history, and I want to claim it. Indeed, I want it as a vaulting pole, a lever still to move the world. I also want to clear the air, substituting the true story for myth and misunderstandings about my life and work. This is not a modest book. <laughs> <laughs> Modesty is for those who are after the Nobel, and that chance, if any, is long past. This is what I want known long after. Like Marco Polo and Tesla in their autobiographies, I am crazed for people to know my real story. What the hell gave me the background and temerity to think I could design the documents of the future and indeed conjure a complete computer world on my own and with no technical credentials when no one else in the world even imagined those things? And why do I still stand against thousands of experts who want to impose their own worlds on humanity? And why do I think I know the true generalization of documents and the true generalization of structure when they don't? That's what this book is about. How I came to the visions, attitudes, and initiatives which have driven me for the last 50 years and drive me still to keep trying, though at first I haven't succeeded. Like email, Windows, Facebook, the World Wide Web. These all use technologies but are themselves just collections of design, design decisions somebody made without asking you. <laughs> I see humanity as unknowing prisoners in systems of invisible walls, specific conventions created by hidden techies sometimes long ago and never questioned since by anybody. I'm certain my designs in part or whole, as well as the story told here, will someday vindicate me. What a pisser to have to seek vindication at the age of 73. But I can't wait till I'm dead to tell, to tell a story, and I can't wait till I'm dead to make the software work. I want to implement these designs now, while they can still be done right, with my own detailing, and reduce people's computer misery and quadruple the usability of computer documents. I want to improve the world that is. Here's a nice picture of that. title is Cynical and Out Front. The author, four, leads kindergartners debouching the school vehicle circa April 1941. <laughs> I do remember the day I learned to read. I knew the alphabet, of course, and we had been learning to spell words, but it had never been all put together for us, and I had not been pressured on the matter. On this day, Ms. Furlet, my lovely first grade teacher, handed each of us a pamphlet with a different story. They were photo offset in dark blue, as I recall. Now the words were in a row, and I saw how they were all put together. And I read the story, and the excitement filled me. <clears throat> Miss Follette was very pleased when I asked for another. She was especially pleased when I asked for a third. Can be said about the spirit of the age is manifest among we can only see from the evidence the exact state of society certainly has a bearing, which is really little more than to say that the whole literary movement is at least an outgrowth, more like a... <laughs> On the other hand, it would be well to consider that neither the relative nor the absolute viewpoint gives us need enough for the actual critical discussion. In the second place, there is clearly doubt that any advocate of the alternative stand could plausibly advance the reciprocal view without entanglement in that group of problems which we have spent the last several weeks on. Unless we can suspend any temporary disbelief in order to examine which the materialistic not to say surreptitious attempt would 
definitely. In any case, there is hardly doubt that under the circumstances, barriers of qualification have. Hence, any of the heretofore intangible factors may conceivably stand forward. Or backward. Maybe I'd better go over that point again. <laughs> There is clearly, as we have seen, doubt that the alternative stand is completely, clearly without advocating. Yes? Uh, Dr. Holt, I'm just throwing this out. <laughs> but do you attribute the research, or at least certain, that is not specific factors, as more or less contributory, <laughs> however the influential reaction might be thought, or Similarly, people have told me, well, of course you need to simulate paper so that people will be reassured. 